from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hi, I'm Jason Martinez with this 10 News update. Mount Carmel High School was briefly put on lockdown this morning. Officers say they were checking on a student who was threatening to harm himself and others with a screwdriver. The school was put on lockdown. Parents were notified. A staff member suffered a minor injury, a hand injury, trying to stop the student. That student is now being held for a psychological evaluation. If you or someone you love is having suicidal thoughts, here is the crisis hotline 888-724-7240. As the shutdown continues and some federal workers struggle to make ends meet, one company is stepping up to help. All day, Hyatt Hotels is feeding airport workers at Lindbergh Field. The hotel served up breakfast, lunch and dinner for TSA agents, air traffic controllers and Customs and Border Protection officers, many of whom told us they appreciated the gesture during tough times. And SeaWorld closed today because of the storm hitting us. The park says it made the decision with the safety of guests and staff in mind. They say as of now, they do plan to be back open tomorrow on Friday. But let's talk to Megan now about this storm on this Thursday. That's right. So that rain is going to continue through the evening commute. Anticipate a slow drive home. And remember, when you're driving through the rain, put your headlights on. It is uh, there's some pretty low visibility out there. The headlights will definitely help. We'll be in the 60s today with the peak timing of the rain continuing through about 8 p.m. On and off showers though will continue overnight tonight, tapering off very quickly tomorrow morning. A high surf advisory will be in effect for huge waves coming through late tonight into tomorrow. Sets could reach up to 15 feet along with dangerous rip currents. But of course, the recent rain, rain leading to higher levels of bacteria in the water. So we don't advise going in the water until 72 hours after it stops raining. High tide tomorrow is at 620 in the morning. That's when we could see coastal flooding of low lying areas. Drying out tomorrow with clearing skies 60s for the coast and inland neighborhoods and then soaring into the 70s over the weekend. Santa Ana winds will develop on Saturday. We'll actually be quite windy and dry in our foothill and mountain communities and some inland neighborhoods may be in the 80s by Saturday. Warm through Sunday touch much cooler actually on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but then Santa Ana winds return on Tuesday with another round of gusty winds. The mountains will be in the 50s through Saturday. 70s return tomorrow in the deserts. Jason, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, you can check out 10 news.com or download our free 10 news app in your app store for 10 news. I'm Jason Martinez.